Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, on today's video, we are going to be reacting to Advanced World War 1 Tactics with General Melchit from Blackadder Goes 4, or Blackadder Goes 4 stars Rowan Atkinson. Um, and uh, who, who, who we all know as Mr Bean, mainly Johnny English. Uh, but uh, Blackadder is a successful series running from the 80s. Um, so looking forward to getting into this. And uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, let me know what you think. And uh, I will hopefully try and get back to you. So uh, let's see what this is all about. Here we go. Field Marshal Haig has formulated a brilliant new tactical plan to ensure final victory in the field. Ah. Well, this brilliant plan involve us climbing out of our trenches and walking very slowly towards the enemy, sir. <laughs> How could you possibly know that, Blackadder? It's classified information. <laughs> it's the same plan that we used last time, and the 17 times before that. It, it, exactly! And that is what is so brilliant about it! It will catch the watchful Hun totally off guard. Doing precisely what we've done 18 times before is exactly the last thing they'll expect us to do this time. <laughs> there is, however, one small problem. problem. That everyone always gets slaughtered in the first 10 seconds. <laughs> That's right. And Field Marshal Haig is worried that this may be depressing the men attached. <laughs> so he's looking to find a way to cheer them up. Well, his resignation and suicide would seem the obvious. <laughs> Interesting thought. Make a note of it, darling. The healthy humour of the honest Tommy. <laughs> Don't worry, my boy. If you should falter, remember that Captain Darling and I are behind you. About 35 miles behind you. <laughs> well, you know what this means? If it's true, sir, we'll have to cancel the push. Exactly. Damn! What a nuisance. <laughs> exactly what the enemy would expect us to do, and therefore exactly what Steve we Tri shan't do. Real ah. good now, if we attack where the line is strongest, then Fritz will think that our reconnaissance is a total shambles. This will lull him into a sense of false security. And then next week, we can attack where the line is actually badly defended and win the greatest victory since the Winchester flower-arranging team Beat Harrow by 12 saw bottoms to one. Uh, at ease, everybody. Now, where's my map? Come on, sir. Thank you. God, it's a barren, featureless desert out there, isn't it? <laughs> the other side, sir. <laughs> of course I am. Now, let's talk about something more jolly, shall we? Look, this is the amount of land we've recaptured since yesterday. Oh, excellent. Um, what is the actual scale of this map, darling? Um... One to one, sir. <laughs> Come again. Uh, the map is actually life size, sir. It's superbly detailed. Look, there's a little worm. Really? <laughs> so the actual amount of land retaken is. Excuse me, sir. 17 square feet, sir. <laughs> Excellent. So you see, young Blackadder didn't die horribly in vain after all. A German spy is giving away every one of our battle plans. You look surprised, Blackadder. I certainly am, sir. I didn't realise we had any battle plans. <laughs> well, of course we have! How else do you think the battles are directed? Our battles are directed, sir. <laughs> well, of course they are, back and are directed according to the grand plan. Would that be the plan to continue with total slaughter until everyone's dead except Field Marshal Haig, Lady Haig, and their tortoise, Alum? <laughs> Great Scott! Even you know it! <laughs> pieces of crooked wood against all the windows. This security leak is far worse than we'd imagined. I was wondering whether, having been tortured by the most vicious sadist of the German army, I might be allowed a week's leave to recuperate, sir. Excellent idea. Your commanding officer would have to be stark raving mad to refuse you. Well, you are my commanding officer. Well? Can I have a week's leave to recuperate, sir? Certainly not. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Best of luck to you all. Sorry I can't be with you, but obviously there's no place at the front for an old general with a dicky heart and a wooden bladder. By the way, George, <laughs> if you want to accompany me back to HQ and watch the results as they come in, I think I can guarantee a place in the car. Oh, no, thank you, sir. I wouldn't miss this show for anything. I'm as excited as a very excited person who's got a special reason to be excited, sir. <laughs> Excellent. Well, chuff chuff then. See you all in Berlin for coffee and cakes. <laughs> wow. 
that's actually really um, really good. That um, you know, Blackadder. I've, I don't think I've ever sat down and actually watched it. Um, I have. I'm more of. I brought up on Only Fools and Horses, so I probably will. You know, maybe do a few more Blackadder reactions, and then hopefully move on to like the series. Um, I think that if that goes fourth, then there'll be like earlier ones to that. So probably sit down and do that. To be fair, if. Um, you know, if if they do good, but from that four minute, just over four minute clip, you know, Stephen Fry, you know, a brilliant um, actor Fry, um, and I've always liked Rowan Atkinson as well. So, um, so yeah, really, really good clip that. Um, so thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Give us a like as well, and I will see you all in the next video, the next reaction. If you'd like me to react to anything, leave it in the comments, and I'll get back to you. I'll read them and get back to you. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, wherever you are. Best of luck. See you all soon.